let's celebrate nine years of Herm. Ladies and gentlemen, introduce yes. our newest NFL Live analyst, a man who could do a four-hour seminar on tax law and make it sound interesting, Herm Edwards. And the coach. You want to do it? Right. And the coach. Ah. And the coach. Watch it. Herm Edwards is here. I've been in that league 30 years. I've been a player and I've been a coach, and I get it. Ready? Right. Show me those DB oh, skills. Wait, watch it. Oh, come on. Oh, got one. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh. He got pass interference. Oh, this is pass interference. This happens like that. As soon as he sees the double team, the backer's actually going to attack. Herm got wheels now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yeah. anymore. It's like driving a Chevy with two flat tires, right? And, and, and your windows are broke. I mean, that's how he kind of went in this thing. The Bills are terminated. <laughs> Jack Wallace. Oh, Bill Cox this weekend. Krakenstein. He decided, I got to make the impact. There he is. Dr. Belichick, he created two monsters for this offense. It is alive. This Harlem Shake is, is, is a new thing, but really it started Harlem. It's called a Harlem Shuffle. Were you good at it? Ladies and gentlemen, come on. To the left. And then you get your right hand, you hold hand in it, and then we're going to move it to the right. Oh, and then when we get in the middle, we're going to shake it on down like that. Now that's the Harlem Shuffle. Can I get one? Why not? Give me Hello. Just, oh, yeah, that's what I want to hear. And what did I say before? Hello. Hello. You play to win the game. You see that button right there? You know what it says? Don't press in. Don't do it. Don't press in. Don't press in. Somebody once said, don't press in. It's not so much the X's and O's, but uh, teaching players how to be better men. You have no discipline. You have no way to be successful in anything. I don't want to coach this, because this ain't professional football, man. It ain't about you. It's not about you anymore. It, it's true. The players think it's all about them. Just because you're a part of a team, that doesn't mean you get to play. That doesn't mean you should have to play. That's how it goes. That's how you learn something about yourself. We, yes. we got to hang some more banners. Exactly. I, I know you're a Laker man. I know, <laughs> that. I know that. I know that. I know that. See, that's my man. That's my man. Herm <laughs> <laughs> just wanders the halls and just stops in wherever he wants. That's what happens but, in the living room. But you know what? You room. could bring him in any group of young men, and he can motivate. Mm -hmm. He is a master motivator. And it's not about our talent. It's not about our skill. It's about your will. It's about the will, the will right here. This is what wins games. Herman Edwards, NFL analyst extraordinaire, but master motivator for all. Because when I'm sitting up there in Bristol, Connecticut, and I see your name come across that wire, shame on me, because I didn't tell you. That name in the back of the jersey belongs to your parents, and you don't screw it up. It don't belong to you. My father taught me about discipline, taught me about respect, taught, taught me about our country, how important it was to serve our country. And every time I hear that, that national anthem, I think of my dad. The lady justice is supposed to be blind. And she's supposed to have a balanced scale when it comes to justice in our country. And sometimes it doesn't look that way. It's easy to take sides. Become listeners. Because when you listen, you can solve the problems. Now, this is called overreaction, right, and not overreaction. Is, is this overreaction? I'm leaving. You shared so much of yourself. So appreciated. Now there's a, a different audience yes. for all that wisdom. It's, which a, is a, which it's is, a good audience. Which is an awesome thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. In Herm's world, there are, like everybody, there's dark days, but there's never any down days. Exactly right. And... Respect is everything. We all have so much respect for you. And of course, love. We all love you so much. Right. And, and speaking of love, here's the most important message. Hi, Dad. Congratulations on your new job at Arizona State. We can't wait to start this new adventure with you. Hi, Daddy. I'm so happy for you. And with this move, we're going to get a new puppy, right? Herm, thank you for all the sacrifices you make for our family every day. To ESPN, we are so grateful for all that you have done for us the past nine years. Herm, we are super excited to be on the train with you at Arizona State. You are my best friend and we love you. I've been negotiating with a 12 and 11 year old, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are too much, I don't know what to say. I won't say goodbye, I'll say thank you. It's been a pleasure, Coach. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. Hey, I, I cry at everything. I love you. Thank you. Hey. So we need some help. Oh, hey. <laughs> we need oh, some help. Oh, no. Hey. 
<laughs> We're my road That's dog. That's my road dog. That's my road dog. Yeah. We on the train. We on the train. Get on the train, me, baby. Come on. Get on now. that train, brother. We can't send you out like that. <laughs> we can't send Get you out like train, that. Get on the train, road dog. Come on. Man. I love you, boy. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Huh? Well, that's the fork. Teddy, first of all, I'm sorry. We had to send you out the right way. Everyone is here. I wanted to tell everyone here. Um, just let you know what you mean to all of us. And we know you like your ice cream. Oh, yeah. So we're sending them out with a sweet treat. <laughs> I love it. Everybody gets an ice Thank cream you. Everybody sandwich. Everybody get an ice cream sandwich. Everybody get an ice cream sandwich. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm crying in the ice cream. Everybody get their ice cream. We <laughs> love you, Coach. Come on. Thank you. Everybody all get right. one. <laughs> Who's cutting onions in here? That's all I want to know. <laughs> when when, when do we get there? So man, this is bad. If my players see this, this boy, this is bad. Come on, man. Thank no, you. No, are you kidding Thank me? You. Your players will you, see this Thank and they realize this is why they're signing folks. up at Arizona State. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Protein-filled right. ice cream. Yeah, yeah this is, uh, <laughs> hey, by the way, this is not avocado ice cream. This is the real deal. <laughs> Thank you, I folks. just want you to Thank know you, that. Man. Thank you, baby. There we go. Thank you, partner. Great. What's the ride been like? Oh, my God. <laughs> You know, we'll see each other. He's the golfer. We will. We'll see we will. Uh, you, you, sadly, you don't know how much you're going to see now. <laughs> time. We'll get the Trey Wingo win. Well, I, I'll say this, and I said this before. When, when you arrived here in January 2009, I had no idea how good I was going to have it. And I just hope those people at Arizona State realize how good they're about to have it. Um, You've been a fixture with me for nine years, doing all kinds of crazy stuff, <laughs> playing all kinds of great rounds of golf, but mostly just talking, you know, here and away from here. And just, uh, you know, you're never too old to be coached. Uh, I'm well past my playing days. Uh, and I've learned so much from you over the last nine years that it's, uh, it's, um, it's been a lifetime. Thank you, Bob. Nine years has been a lifetime for me.